We just bought this 2003 Jeep Wrangler. It is a beaut, but there's just one problem. It doesn't run. This oh, is Devin. Man. He's one of our actual <laughs> subscribers. He's never seen this Jeep before, but if he can get it to start and drive it out of this garage in the next two hours, he can keep it. Let's go, Devin! 30 minutes, Devin, 30 minutes. Along the way, we'll talk you through what's going on in Devin's head so that you can learn how to think like a mechanic and have the skills to take on a problem like this yourself. Will he be able to fix it? I don't know. Let's find out. Devin, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Nolan, it's your big moment. Start the clock! That boy ain't cranking. Now just to be clear, this Jeep ran just fine when we bought it and we've taken it upon ourselves to sabotage it in a handful of ways. But we're nice guys and everything Devin needs is in this garage. If he asks us for the right part, we'll give it to him. But if he asks us for the wrong part, we're gonna take some time off that clock. <laughs> All right, so what are we thinking? What's our process here? Well, so far everything looks really clean. Can't spot anything out of the ordinary as of yet. Curious. What's going on in there? <laughs> yeah, what you, what you oh, you know what? Huh. I wonder if it's the, the actual starter circuit. Okay, so our boy Devin is on the right track. Uh, the first thing you noticed when he tried to start the car was that the ignition switch felt super weird, didn't get the, the clicks that you would expect, and nothing really happened when you turned the key. Uh, the ignition switch is basically what's responsible. That's what you put the key in, and you turn it, and electrical things happen in that switch to tell things to turn on, tell the car that it can run, and all that stuff. Before I ask for if it's possibly the ignition, I'm gonna double check the fuse box, make sure that everything is where it should be. You can cut the tension with a knife. Thinking I might need a EATX relay. Mm, that makes me scratch my head. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely oh. need a fuel pump relay though. Fuel, fuel pump, pump relay. relay. That is not one of the parts that you need. Oh, okay. Nolan. Yes. Can we take 10 minutes off of the clock? Ooh, 10 whole minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes. So I was basing the chart on the lid of the fuse box here wrong and I forgot to leave out the actual locking diff relays that would have sat right here. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, well that makes sense. Now what? Now. <laughs> Gotta dust off and keep digging. How about the EATX relay? Do I need that? Are you officially asking well, for it? Yeah, that sounds like a question. Yes, <laughs> I'm asking for that. Nolan, 10 more minutes off the I don't clock. even know what an EATX relay <laughs> is. I'm gonna get out of here before that gets me in any more trouble though. <laughs> All right, so the fuse box gave Devin some trouble. He asked for two relays that he does not need and he lost a total of 20 minutes off the clock. Now when you're dealing with two hours, 20 minutes is like a percentage of that, you know? One, two, three. Oh, Ooh, he's found the owner's manual. Oh, oh nice. That's that's my bread and butter. I love reading. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, just looking for possible fuse box locations and what I would need as far as starting. Smart. He seems to be losing the trail of the ignition switch. What are you popping off? Yeah, what's popping off? Uh, popping off the little connector plug for the ignition switch. Nice tool, the key. You're using the key to do it, heck yeah. That's a very that. Jeep thing. <laughs> I wouldn't understand. I just like holding a flashlight, because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Yell at him like his dad used to. Just hold it there, Jeremiah. <laughs> I want to say it's the ignition switch, but it's just, I'm. I don't know, I keep doubting myself. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Luckily, it's time for the carparts.com pro tip, brought to you by carparts.com. Carparts.com, get the right parts right now. And at checkout, they'll even give you a quote to have someone install it for you. Guys, I think when I get home, I'm gonna play Nintendo Switch. No way. Yeah. You got any cool new games on your Switch? Yeah, I'm gonna play Zelda on my Nintendo Switch. Oh. 
It ignites my soul. You could say it's my ignition switch. It really switches me on. <laughs> I'm gonna say I need an ignition switch. Whoa! <laughs> How do you th how did you even think of that? <laughs> Look at the big brain on that. Parts trunk, real quick. He's got it, baby. Got it, Ew. <laughs> Just crashes on the floor. <laughs> Just asked for the uh, for the ignition switch, and sure enough, that was it. And we happen to have one in the trunk of the car right over there. How about that? And with one hour, 13 minutes, and 15 seconds to go. Uh, so here's the starter switch assembly. So what Adam did uh, to destroy this thing is there's a little ball bearing in here that he, what, played with, messed yeah, with? Yeah, he like removed the tension from it or maybe took it out altogether. That ball bearing is what kind of detents the switch into the different positions. Makes so it, it feel feels normal. Right, yeah. gives you that good feel. So not only, that was like the little hint. Okay, gave him a little clue. Mm -hmm. And then he cut uh, one of the connectors so it was inoperable. No car. Uh, hey, there it is. We've got power to the gauges, which means you did it. We, the switch worked. Now, okay. now what? Now, now what? what? Battery has juice. The starter's running. So, say, where's the starter assembly at? Uh -huh. Do we happen to have uh, like extra hardware, like a nut or something like that, for uh, the starter relay? <laughs> or not the starter? As a matter of fact, I have like... specifically the nut you're looking for. <laughs> okay, Ew. there it is. Bring it over, James. Boom. There boom, it is. Boom, Check boom. it off the list. Let's go, Devin. Let's go, Devin. So we tried to start the car, noticed that the starter clicked, and then realized that there's probably an issue with the starter. So we went and looked at the starter. Noticed that we removed the positive cable from the starter. Okay, so that seems like it just needed to go back on there. So we asked for the nut to put it back on, we gave it to him. Seems simple enough, he probably thinks it's gonna work, but it's not. We actually destroyed the solenoid itself. So now that it has power, which I think he's getting to right now, he's gonna try to start it again, still not gonna start. So he's gonna have to replace that starter. All right, so what are we doing? What are we looking at? Well, the uh, starter solenoid, the hot wire, was uh, unbolted from the solenoid itself. Ooh, that's so dastardly. There was some power getting to it, but not enough to actually uh, turn the motor over. But see now that that's secured. Over. And now it doesn't want to grab. So, I want to say, that's the starter itself. Yeah? Are you asking for a part? Uh, yes. Starter, baby! Available at carparts.com! Devin's just asked for a starter. That is one of the things wrong with the Jeep. You can buy one at carparts.com. This is not a drill, ladies and gentlemen. We have officially reached the halfway point. And now for the halftime show, entertainment by Zach Jones. Do you like working to music? <laughs> <laughs> Angelic. How are you feeling about your, uh... okay. We're done. You got an hour left. Are you nervous? So here we have a starter, which is responsible for, you guessed it, starting your car. Uh, generally speaking, what happens when you turn the key, uh, this little gear here shoots out, interacts with your flywheel, and turns the engine over so that you know it can get going. Uh, we broke this one, so the armature does not shoot out to interact with the flywheel. So it just spins in there and doesn't do its job. So, for that reason, it needed to be replaced, which is what he's doing right now. Okay, sounds like a bolt's tightening. Yep. yep. 
The clock is at about 42 minutes. We're over halfway done. So far, Devin has replaced the ignition switch. Uh, we unhooked the power to the starter. He reconnected that, only to find out that the starter was bad too. So right now he's wrapping up, fixing the starter. He's gonna give it a crank and see if she goes. Gotta reconnect the battery. <laughs> you gotta reconnect the battery. Hey man, good on you for disconnecting in the first place. Yeah. You gotta reconnect the battery. That sounds good. I'm uh, currently gonna see it starts up. I think that's it. So he's fixing the ignition switch and the starter. The Jeep is running currently, but the rules state that he's gonna drive it out of the shop in order to keep it. Can he do it? Devin, you ready? Something's holding up. Oh, we chopped the I'll wheel. just pull forward. So yeah, there's that piece it. of wood I kicked it back under. Just, just gotcha. drive over it. Just a piece of wood. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound good, Devin. Oh, right? oh no, dude, that's not a noise you want to hear out of your doesn't seem to be driving. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, premature ribbon rollout. Let's see. Well, looks like our U joint broke off. <laughs> we cut and JB welded the drive shaft back together, and like you need a drive shaft. It's the shaft that drives your car. So uh, the JB weld gave up pretty quick, as you'd expect. Thing whapped around a few times, sounded crazy, and now he's got to replace it. I need a U joint. <laughs> U joint to the parts trunk. We'll accept that as an accurate request. You're going to get a U joint with a drive shaft attached to it. Awesome. <laughs> I'll take it. Brand spanking new. <laughs> yes, sir. Rusted it ourselves. You're not done. You're not done. You're not done. You're not done. 30 minutes, Devin. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Right. That's, uh, that's 25% yeah. remaining. Alrighty. Nice. You see any dents from where the uh, drive shaft hit anything? <laughs> Honestly, I think we are good, actually. Sounded like it whacked something. Yeah, that was a pretty fun noise. So what Adam did is cut this U-joint off and then JB weld it back together. And as soon as he started going, once it had enough torque applied to this joint right here, it sheared him right off. But now he's swapping it out. And maybe this thing will roll, maybe. If he put it in good. <laughs> no one's checking his work. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That might be. Drive shaft done? Yeah. Sick. So <laughs> let's try this again. We had a false win, drove a couple feet, and the drive shaft exploded. Just replaced that. We're gonna see if this is the time that he can drive it out of the shop and take home his free ride. Hey, that's the name of the show. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. That sounded confident. Oops. Here we go. Oh, you just got to cross the finish line. You did it! You did it! You did it! Runs, you drive. You did it. Drives. <laughs> All right, so runs, drives, you drove it out of the shop. Devin, this is your new Jeep, dude. Awesome. I appreciate it. Well, we had a little bit of a rough start, but uh, yeah, I got hung up on the ignition switch, started doubting myself, and uh, sure enough, that was the issue. But doubting myself, I started going around just to check everything else. Got 20 minutes docked off of me for thinking that the fuses and relays were out of whack. But sure enough, the ignition switch was what set me on a roll. And then from there, uh, checked the starter, and uh, just kept moving from there. And sure enough, here I am now. Thank you so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Hit that subscribe button and who knows, maybe you could be sitting in your new old car that you just fixed. Uh, hit that like button, it really helps us out in the algorithm. Go to DonutMedia.com, get yourself some Donut swag. I'm super stoked about it. We're dropping new items every week. I love you.